malikunye siya pambi la ishome. Vuga mtogazi, pagama mtogazi. We call upon all mtogazi people to support us on the road to our independence from modern day Zimbabwe. Umtogazi's proposal for the partition of present day Zimbabwe into the two independent and sovereign states of Umtogazi Republic and Republic of Zimbabwe through an international underwritten political agreement. Umtogaz is the name by which the people, commonly known as Ndebele, who mainly inhabit the provinces of Matebeleland and the Midlands in present-day Zimbabwe, refer to themselves. They were given the name by their founder, King Mziligaz Gamachoban, who ruled the pre-colonial Ndebele kingdom in what is today Zimbabwe. The word Ndebele is an umbrella term which describes the composition of people from the historic Mtogazi kingdoms of Mziligazi and Lobengula, who speak the following languages in their native regions in present-day Zimbabwe. Kalanga, Lozwi, Ndebele, Nguni, Nanzwa, Soto, Tonga, Venta, Kosa, and Zulu. It is important to note that these people are the original inhabitants in their respective regions. This was the case during King Mziligaz's kingdom, King Lobengula's kingdom, the colonial era, and has been and still is the case since the last 32 years under the rule of the mass and psychotic murderer Robert Gabriel Mkaka. Umtogaz has been fighting for its independence since the colonial times. In the 1980s, Umtogazi suffered an attempted genocide commonly called Kukurawundi, in which on a conservative estimate of 30,000 Ndebeles were massacred in a genocidal campaign that lasted five years. Kukurawundi has, not been, has now been officially declared a genocide. We are tired, so are by the Machona people and their establishments.